Hello, this is Bob. Let's talk about agile complexity and use a BI implementation as an example. We'll talk about how to augment the valuable agile approach with some additional program management. Let's describe the project that we're proposing. Overall, the project is to have a user interface which connects to an analytics capability that performs statistical analysis and presentation. And that analysis and presentation is based on the output of a machine learning model. This is very similar to a project that I just completed. When we look at each, when we look at each section, we can see that there is a data cube, data warehouse, analytics section. And in this section, we have to create a data cube. We have to determine what questions the users are going to want answers to. From that, we'll need to model those questions and determine what analysis needs to be performed and then create a data model that will produce the needed output. In the machine learning component, we'll need to create a machine learning model. We'll have to select an appropriate model. In the last project I did, we used the BERT model. Create training data and test data. Create an approach to train the data and then execute the training. And then begin the process of testing and iterating through to make sure that we've tuned the model. The next component is infrastructure. The data cube and the machine language components can demand a lot of infrastructure. If the infrastructure is demanding, we'll need a separate effort to procure, set up, and configure that infrastructure. And finally, we'll need production data. That production data will need to be available to the analysis team as well as to the machine learning team. One of the first difficulties we'll encounter is that all of our deliverables will not fit into a typical sprint. So we'll need to determine what are the dependencies between tasks, schedule those out, and we'll have to deal with components that will take longer to develop and deliver than a single sprint. As an example, in traditional projects where you were creating your own infrastructure, you'd have to do analysis on the amount and type of infrastructure you would need, what resources the cube needed to, to have, what the resources the machine language model needed, then order that infrastructure, install it, configure it, and then do the initial load test. If you're using a cloud infrastructure, this task begins to get much simpler, and you still have to do some analysis and understand the resource usage. And to Determine what kind of infrastructure you need, but the cycle time to order, install, configure, and load diminishes dramatically. A challenge is to coordinate this complex program, yet continue to take advantage of the focus and productivity provided by the Agile structure. So the answer that we've used in the past is to apply a program structure over the Agile teams. So the program manager and, and the architects can sit as a conduit that communicates between the teams and helps keep the structure in place. The program team keeps the program moving while each individual Agile project can focus on its work, interacting with the customer, and driving out results. There will have to be some changes and accommodations made by the sprint team. So we do know that there cannot be a single design and that the design will often be complex enough that it won't fit into a single sprint. So some sprints will have components that are purely designed and the output of the sprint will be some design components that are formally documented for another team. And we also know that even though some of the sprint components are completed, that they may not be ready for total integration into to the system and have to go into a queue of, of components that will be ready for final testing and final integration. As each of the Agile team contributes working products and sometimes requirements and analysis for other teams, it's the program team that will keep track of all the moving parts, assure there's continuity, and assure that the overall schedule is intact and the overall integration of all the components is moving forward. So the architects can help coordinate and capture those requirements and capture the designs and communicate them to the teams. Testing is a critical component in an integrated system like this. So the UIT can certainly test its, its user interface and the machine language team can test to see if its machine learning is working correctly, but the system is a sum of, of its parts and not just delivering the individual parts. The recommendation is for the program to have an overall test manager who manages the coordination for the uh, final system test and the final user acceptance. 
that test manager will have the responsibility of having a consolidated set of test requirements and test scripts to make assignments to the individual teams as to how they can participate in the final testing and then tracking the test and in coordination with the Agile teams determining if the testing is complete. For those familiar with BI projects, it's important to remember the performance cannot be overlooked. There's always a bell curve of queries that need to be responded to very quickly with a high volume of requests. And there are those that are used periodically, infrequently, and have less demanding performance requirements. So part of the final testing will be having a perspective on the performance requirements and allocating the time and the effort to work through the performance of each query that comes from the team. With multiple teams and multiple users and multiple tasks, it could be a challenge to make sure that the user is channeled to speak with the right team at the right time. We want to make sure that we don't create confusion for the user, but that instead we assist the user to make optimal use of their time and the Agile team's time. So the program can and should operate as a conduit to the users to help direct the users to the right team at the right time. We, we should always maintain focus on keeping the communication open, frequent, and free between the Agile team and the customer. We should be sure to always focus on keeping the contact between the user and the Agile teams as close as possible, as frequent as needed, and as effective as possible. We've been discussing a rather complex system that involves analytics, user interface work, and machine learning to deliver a single system. We've talked about the, the importance of keeping those productive aspects of agile teamwork and providing some program management infrastructure that will reduce the burden of inter-team communication that will facilitate inter-team cooperation and help drive out a productive system in the most productive manner possible. Thank you for watching. I hope that some of the information has been useful or interesting. If you have questions, please reach out to me for questions or comments. And I'd like to especially acknowledge Morali Lukundagairi, who is a, an old friend of mine with experience in, in testing and in sprint management. So he's contributed to to my thinking and preparation for this, although I will acknowledge that, that any errors in the content or the presentation are from me and not from Morali. <laughs>